So I have something really special for you today. This is the new version two of the Watt Cycle 48 volt lithium iron phosphate server rack battery. Now, I got this using a discount coupon through Watt Cycle for Black Friday sale. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to actually look at this one and compare it to Will Prowse's video where he looked at the V1, found a lot of random issues with it, and I'd like to see if they took his advice and actually upgraded it and fixed all those problems. And one interesting thing that I discovered when I was making this video is apparently I'm the first person in the United States to get hold of one of these batteries and actually make a video for YouTube, so I'm number one. He's number one at the factory's room. So first thing I'm going to do is crack this open, take a look at what they've included in the box. We've got the user manual, silica gel, don't eat, don't eat. We've got oh, a hole in the bag, got some really short uh, cable leads here for connect interconnecting. We've got the rack ears here for mounting it in a server rack. We've got handles, removable handles, which is kind of nice. We've got a ground cable. We've got communication cable for interconnecting your batteries. We've got the uh, lug covers, safety covers, and then we've got the screws to attach everything and the battery terminal screws. So in the box you can see this 100 pound battery actually has got some pretty thick foam around it and there's some, some space just in case there's any damage to the box. And actually the corner of my box had a little bit of damage. As I was cracking it open, I see a nice ding right here. Uh, so I'm going to crack this open and take a look inside just to make sure that there's no battery cell damage inside. All right, so this is actually a nice little cover. I'm gonna take that off, take a look underneath. So just for due diligence, you can see that there is a, a dent right there, but it's actually within this side piece. Now, one of the things I'm noticing right off the bat, compared to the unit that Will Prowse looked at, this one actually has metal uh, bracing inside. The, they still do have the zip ties holding the things on. <clears throat> However, in the V1 unit, these were plastic and they were also held on with cable ties. And you can see a picture of that right up here. Um, the other thing that he mentioned in his video was uh, ring terminals connecting all of the different balance leads here, uh, temperature sensors. All of that stuff is now actually um, ring terminaled on, they were soldered on. Um, I saw a hall sensor here, but there's nothing There's nothing connected to it. So they're actually not using a hall sensor. So the, the first thing that you notice, aside from the giant LCD screen on it, is that this unit actually has two uh, connection lugs on the front. The old unit just had a single lug. So this will make it easier to interconnect multiple batteries, a battery, a large battery bank. All right, so again, it does have a nice display here. This is actually a touchscreen display, as I'll show you in a minute. Um, one of the things that Will did mention in his video was that it does have a really nice uh, circuit breaker. This is actually a chint breaker, which is um, uh, DC rated. So another thing I wanted to point out was the bus bars in between the battery cells. These are actually a lot thicker than the version one. So that's another, another thing that they fixed that uh, Will pointed out in his video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack this thing back up and then I'm gonna turn it on and take a look at the display. All right, got it all buttoned back up again. So let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, so what you can see here is this is off. So there's no current 
being put to the terminals, but the BMS is actually powered by the cells. All right, so you can see here, you've got a whole bunch of different options. You've basically got a pack option that actually tells you all the basic information about your pack. Right out of the box, we're at 52% state of charge. Um, voltage 52.8 volts, max voltage 3300 millivolts, zero amps current going out. Uh, you've got a temperature. All right, so go back. So now here you can look at the individual cells. You can see 3.299, You've got 3.299. So these are all actually really close. So you can look at temperatures of the cells, which is kind of cool. I didn't realize that this battery had that option, but that's pretty darn cool. All right, so let's go back. Any alarms? So right now there are no, there are no alarms, no faults. Uh, look at a chart. Settings. You can change your uh, settings for the various ports here. Um, pylon. I don't know what Meg or Day is. Victron, could we, whoops. Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of options in here. Grow Watt, yeah. So there's a whole lot of options here for whatever inverter that you've got. So product information, serial number, manufacturer, all that information, that's pretty cool. So again, it's got a, the same uh, connection in here on the sides. So that's gonna be the same as the previous battery. You can uh, uplink batteries, downlink batteries. You can do the CAN uh, RS-485 connection to inverters and things like that. So my next steps are gonna to be to do a full capacity test or two on this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get it fully charged up. And uh, I will do a 0.2C rate capacity test. Uh, when Will Prowse did his, he got a 102.7 and 102.3 amp hours on this battery or on the version one battery. So I'll repeat that test. He also did a 1C rate, which I don't have the capability to do. Uh, so I'll just do the 0.2C rate and uh, we'll basically see what, uh, what capacity I get out of this battery. But I have to say, I really do like the color and the color scheme of this battery. Uh, I can't wait to get this thing fully tested. Uh, one of the other things that I didn't mention is that it has a Bluetooth app uh, for the BMS. And uh, I'll demonstrate that as well in the full video once I've done the capacity tests. The best part about this battery is the price. Right now it's on sale for $699, which makes it the best price on any server rack battery that I've seen so far at this quality. Check the description below for an affiliate link where you can get the battery as well as a discount coupon.